This is Tony Monaco and welcome to my online lesson supplemental video on how to use some of the software that's available, mostly freeware, when you're taking lessons with me. I use two computers to record the lesson. One is a Windows computer that will connect with Skype, so get a free Skype account. I found that the audio on Skype is the best. I've tried Zoom, I've tried Skype for Business, just the standard Skype audio, which by the way, the, the program allows us to record the video and the audio during a lesson and send files, so it works really good. On my Macintosh, the screenshot that you're looking at, I use Logic to record the lessons so that I could have for you an audio file, an MP3 file that has a mix of all of our audio and playing, but I also record a MIDI file. And together with these two files, I'm able to supply you a third file that's called an LMS file. .LMS, standing for Lord My Savior, is a file that is used with a program called Mediculous. And Mediculous, by the way, is a wonderful program. I make the files for you using a professional version and you go to Mediculous.com and download the free software. So it's totally free and once you download it I'm going to show you now how to use it to preview my lessons, okay? Alright, so you're taking a look at Mediculous. I just opened it. The file that I send you uh, we'll have your name and the date, and it'll have an extension, .lms. The other two files that I'll be sending you will be .mp3 that you can use as an audio file to listen to, and a MIDI file. And if you're savvy with DAWs, you could line the audio and MIDI file up in a DAW. But I do that already for you here in Mediculous in a way that you could preview the lessons over and over again. This program allows you to make loop points, so you can quickly start to make loop points and different parts of the lessons that you want to preview. Now, in order to use this, I'm recording MIDI data on channels 1, 2, and 3. That's channel 1 is the upper manual, channel 2 is the lower manual, channel 3 is the MIDI channel that sends out bass pedals. What you'll want to do is mute those three channels so that you don't hear the internal MIDI sounds that they have already in the program. But you also want to separate the color of the different channels so that you'll see on the keyboard that upper manual here on K I've set to appear as blue. And the lower manual, which is channel 2, will be in red. I did not use pedals, but let's say I did, you would assign that to green. Now when I play the file, you will hear the audio that has been mixed, the MP3 file, and it's synchronized with the MIDI data that you will see on the keyboard. You're allowed to speed up things or change the pitch, set loop points, it's wonderful. I'm going to give you an example of this now. Please note that the video and the audio will not be lined up, but in normal situations when you open up the Mediculous program and the file, everything will be synchronized on your screen. So here we go. I just wanted to show you Mediculous program playing a file. <laughs> See the blue? Okay, you put your foot. That's the upper manual. The red. Speed now. The lower manual. So it's a great program to preview the lessons because you'll be able to watch them over and over again and actually see the notes. Okay? The next thing is some of you may not have an organ that you, you play through a Leslie speaker or a keyboard that you play through an amp or you have everything sent to a mixer before it comes into the computer, but you have a keyboard controller and you want to take lessons with me, well, that's easy to do too. Uh, there's a software program out there called Internet MIDI. I'm going to show that to you right now. 
Internet MIDI allows us to connect MIDI to MIDI through the Internet. So once we connect, then whenever I play MIDI notes, they will show up on your computer uh, in real time. And vice versa, when you play, I'll hear you on this side playing through my software so that we could take the lesson. It's very easy to connect. Once you make yourself available and you have a password and screen name, then we can easily connect that way. And I record all of the data, but this will allow you to also see in real time the keyboard notes that I'm playing during a lesson. Some students use this program anyhow, even though they don't need to connect, but they use it because they want to see during the lesson real time. So it's uh, available at timewarptech.com and at $69, but it will allow us to connect even if you don't have an organ or a keyboard that we can monitor through a speaker. This program allows us to do it. While I'm here, let me show you a standalone software synthesizer that sounds exactly like a Hammond B3 organ. This is the new GSI VB32. You can get it at GeniusSoundware.com. So when you connect with me with Internet MIDI, you'll want to be able to hear the organ sound. And with that, you could do it by opening the GSI VB3 Burn, uh, uh, VB3 uh, organ software, which also has its own keyboard display, by the way. Isn't that kind of cool? See, upper manual, lower manual. This is all connected via MIDI, and you can actually preview your Mediculous lessons here. And all of my drawbar changes are recorded, and you'll see them here, okay? But when you're with Internet MIDI, basically you'll assign the MIDI output driver to be a driver that will play your internal uh, standalone VB3 synthesizer. And it's easy to do. The Macintosh has an internal patch bay already built in. It's called an IAC driver. That's why you're able to see these notes light here as well as there. We're using a driver. On PCs, it's done the same way. There's a freeware that you download that allows you to do this. So just for the technical parts, when you have Internet MIDI and you want to hear me, you'll be able to do that. Or hear yourself, you'll be able to do that by sending the MIDI output to the standalone synth. Okay? All right. I guess I could say if we get to that point, I guess we if you don't get it figured out, we'll just get together on a lesson and figure it out, okay? No problem. I always schedule f a little extra time on the first lesson, especially when they're like this, to get all the stuff ironed out before we start. So that's just the way I am. I work together with you. All right, just to kind of show you just a last kind of thing that I think is kind of cool software that you might want to be interested in. I like to use iReal Pro as a player and also a lot of the songs that I assign during the lesson, you could use this program. It's under $20. It's on your application store and it allows you to download thousands of songs once you buy the, the app one time. has a built-in player so that you can actually like mix the drums or the bass or take out the bass. So maybe while you're learning a song or learning a technique, you might need the program to play some of the bass for you. This will allow you to do it. And then when you start to get the left hand and right hand together, then you can maybe start to eliminate that or maybe use some of the comping. But it's very nice. It's user-friendly. And you can set the count in. Right now we have it for one measure. We're going to hear the drums. And we're going to hear bass, and I'm going to take that off because I play my own bass, okay? And the key, well, I'm going to keep it in the original key, but if I wanted to change the key, I could easily do that. Just simply change the key. It changes. Now, you'll notice when I play along with this that the measures are going to light up because it shows you right where you are. So it's a great 
practice technique while we're working on different coordinations of left hand and right hand things. Uh, it's a great metronome, but it also keeps you in line with the tune. So just to send you off, remember, Tony Monaco Lessons at gmail.com. Email me to get a schedule going or to inquire some more. And you can also visit my website, b3monaco.com. Thanks. I'll play a little bit of this, and I'll see you later, okay? God bless. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot. We'll see you later, and uh, God bless. Have a nice day.